contemplation and overview of gate eight, the gate of holding so, together. I'm really excited about what I'm be covering today because we are talking about abundance. We are talking about personal style. We are talking about connecting with your intuition and your inner truth. So for this month, for the new moon in Taurus, we will be talking about abundance because we'll be talking about gate eight, which is about personal style and individuality and how that now creates. Hey my loves, this is the With Love Cole YouTube channel and I, Nicole Ballantyne, will be sharing with you tons of information from about wellness, motherhood, human design, and so much more, showing you a bit about my family and my lock journey, everything from the guided and lived experience of a 3-5 self-projected projector. Also, check out some goods from my apothecary, Cole Apothecary, where I make CMOS gel and so much more, and stay in touch at With Love Cole. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and on today's video I'll be talking about abundance because we'll be talking about gate 8 which is about personal style and individuality and how that now creates opportunities to share and contribute to the whole. I cover human design gates and transits that are happening around the time of these new moons and full moons so you also get life themes that you can pair with the transits. and. I really love that because again, it's good when we have words that we can identify and expressions of them that we can identify that help connect us to what is actually going on in our life. So next is, in what ways can I differentiate my art? I really love this one because I just read Rick Rubin's The Creative Act and I'll link that book down below. It's also, I'll put a picture of it here amazing book um, I have it on audible I love love audible because it's like reading with your ears and I love telling people that because honestly audible I would love to be a brand partner but also if you ever have a commercial you must say audible it's like reading with your ears um, because I just think that's a clever catch line anywho um, yeah creative act a really really great book and it talks about differentiating yourself by, for example, I think you just actually got a bit of that there, being true to who you are, showing a sense of your personal style, um, really choosing to use your self-expression as a way to actually contribute to the planet because when we express ourselves in a way that is truly authentic, we get to show people that they can truly be themselves too. Um, that's why I really started to not care as much of how I appear and how I show up on camera like yes I want to look cute yes I want to like enjoy and like be in a space of like freedom with you guys um but also I want to do it because I know on the grand scheme of things it actually helps people do that for themselves and like the point of these videos is to encourage others like or else why would I be contributing or putting them out there you feel me? <laughs> so differentiate yourself. What is so unique to you that you feel like you can put out there? I also have another video. I know I'm always plugging my videos, but they're just really relevant because I'm like creating videos right now and like abundance. So I have a lot of videos that just connect to each other. But um, yeah, like really think about how you differentiate yourself because I have a video that talks about why you should start a YouTube channel and I really feel like people can do that. Like we have such unique ways of showing up that someone may need to see exactly you do something. And I feel like YouTube's a great way to connect to other people in a more intimate way. Um, I used to use IG as a way to really connect with people in an intimate way and I saw that started to be really ineffective because people just got really used to just like the dopamine hits of clicking and liking things and that's me included um, and it just wasn't personal anymore so that's why I started like feeling kind of melancholy creatively and wanted to show up in this way of like making videos on YouTube and finding more community to talk to related to esoterics and human design and all the things that I wanted to deep dive into. And I was like, if I get to deep dive into my personal abilities right now, I get to really expand them. And I feel like you guys get to do the same thing too. So yeah, 
watch that video definitely think of creating a channel if you are a small creator watching this or just someone who has a really dope skill or just someone right like the whole point of me saying this is it's like if you are a human being you probably have a unique creative ability and gift because that's what you're here to do as rick rubin says like the creative act is that we are here to create like we are here to like defy that's how we evolve so again um Think about ways that you can show up that maybe you never thought of. Up into the human design gates, gate 8 and gate 14. Um, gate 8 is the gate of holding together in the I Ching, the gate of style. So let's talk about that gate as well as gate 14, the gate of bounteousness. For gate 8, I put on my IG graphics all the glitter um, because gate 8 to me is literally kind of like all the pieces of beautiful like crystals or beautiful uh, uh, fractals and fractals are basically like pieces of one form and if you think of human consciousness in that way then you understand that we are actually all pieces of one form like we are all one network really of one con of one collective consciousness so all the glitter gate 8 all the gold gate 14 so now let's talk about all the glitter this month it is great to consider how your style influences how we show up in the world what unique ways can you contribute your ideas that make you stand out but also offer value to those seeking it gate 8 in human design is the gate of holding together because it is our personal contributions and differences that shine to reflect the others if you have this gate in your design, you may have felt a little bit of melancholy because it is a melancholy gate of paving your own path and being one of a kind or even speaking your unique truth because gate eight, um, again, is a gate that is about, it leads up to the throat, right? So it is about like bringing that like style or that truth into form or into expression. Allow the emotions to fuel your creativity this month as it's a great time for exploration and advancement. So again, like creatives are known to be emotional. Um, Rick Rubin talks about that in the creative act. Like in order to create, we kind of have these highs and lows because that sensitivity to life is what pushes you to do this. If it wasn't for my like pressure to want to share this information and create these videos i wouldn't necessarily want to sit here and do this right like right now my daughter's playing and at the park with her dad and i i would love to be there with them but i also know the value of this information for creating the world that i want to see her live in right so yeah creators go through a lot of melancholy we do tend to sacrifice we do tend to have to go through these really like unique again personal situations that transform us and for me my birth was that like I had a near-death experience during birth I'm gonna do a video about my birth experience but I think that is now triggering this gate 8 for me this personal contribution um, she was part of that personal contribution um, gate 8 is also a Scorpio gate um, so it's very much about death and rebirth and like um, that usually comes through creative expression um, so yeah human design is fascinating you you end up realizing like not only is this connected to genetic codons but this stuff is connected to um, amino acids then you see it's connected to spirituality in terms of life themes the chakra system like I don't know very complete to me like that's the why I have this pressure to share because I'm just like I like that it's not just rooted and based in one thing but there is a material benefit to this information um, for building businesses companies building a better world like yeah I could go on and on but let's let's move forward let's talk about all the glitter gate 14 so gate 14 again is the gate of material wealth in the I Ching it's called the gate of bounteousness 
The ability to create physical wealth is heightened when we already have confirmation from our environment. Gate 14 is the gate of material wealth and it is located in the sacral place. Gate 14 is about having physical energy because in order to create wealth there has to be some action and whether that action manifests like just through physical movement or it manifests through voice or it manifests through um, waves it's still coming out through something, right? The ability to create physical wealth is heightened when we already have confirmation from our environment and the physical vitality to attract prosperity. So this is super important. In order to create wealth, you do have to be in the right environment. And I think this goes back into networking when people, uh, when people look at wealth, they don't realize that wealth is truly in our relationships because wealth is very much connected to your network. In order to create wealth, you have to have a sense of community. You cannot create wealth in isolation. Um, and that is so interesting because it is connected to gate eight, the gate of holding together. In order to create wealth, you literally have to contribute something to, into society that helps hold society together. Um, so I think this is really interesting to bring up because we are in a generation and age of isolation and everyone kind of wanting to kind of do their own thing and not show up. And I think that you can do that. There's unique ways of doing that where you can still contribute because again, you can't want Gaia, the universe to just take care of you and you're not offering or giving anything back to her. And that is very much what gate 14 is about. It's about what do I, um, what can I give to get? Like, what can I give in the sense of energy? What can I, what action can I put forth? Gate 14 is part of the codon group, the ring of life and death. And again, as we know, like your material needs being met has, is like about life and death. Like you literally need money to survive and to live in this, in this society, in this world, right? So how do we create that for ourselves? And that is a big part of that is contributing to the society. So it's important to know our material needs being met helps to create more resources and sacral power for an individual to thrive. Again, you have to have your material needs to be met in order for you to even have the physical energy to help others. And this is really important and this is why relationships are important because we may end up in situations because life happens where we can't necessarily take care of ourselves and then you do have to rely on your community and your tribe. But also if you have been someone that has contributed, that's always been a giver, gate 14, the gate of prosperity is literally about giving to receive so this is very much an energy of true exchange so what are you willing to give in order to receive you have to think about that like on a spiritual level um, what will you put your time and energy into and and like proper intention into like and on a deeper level your heart into I rambled a bit there but I hope you guys get the message it's important to note that those with this gate have proper direction and intention with their materials. So it's not just about having money because having money makes you rich, but really having wealth means having money and putting it into the right resources and trusting those resources to grow. So it does mean proper intention and it does mean proper direction. Um, the gate 14 leads to gate two, which is the feminine energy. Um, gate two is pure yin and gate two is about being receptive to life. Also have a video on that, I'll put it here. Um, but yes, it's really, really important to be receptive to life because then you now have the, um, energy to especially if you are connected to the resources the physical resources to bring things to form and bring like the most beautiful things to form because you're in the beat and i'll make a video on that about um gate 
of a gate two and gate 14 when that energy meets up and it makes the channel of the beat but then you really get into that and that's when you're really hitting on to what people need because you're into the patterns into the trends you have a true understanding of what like life needs in the physical moment and Think about it. Businesses that make big bucks, they know what people need in the moment. Amazon, great example. I mean, I'm an Amazon affiliate. You guys see I have hella links below because I think Amazon, as much as people dislike it, they are meeting material needs for people. And they are providing people things with great customer service. Um, we know that if society is moving fast and there's a company that's now allowing us to get things in a really quick way, yeah, you are going to have people, our energy, our dollars are being put into it. And that is also what is pushing that machine. So you have to think of that. Like they are supporting something that the society needs. Or on the flip side, you could say maybe we don't need Amazon. And then you have to think about where am I putting my dollars? Because if we don't need it, then society as a whole has been putting their material focus their energy their sacral energy in that direction their physical dollars in that direction and that is what is continuing that um, expansion of that business so that's an example of that um, definitely wasn't expecting to get into that but i'll talk a little bit more when i talk more into the channel and maybe i'll bring that um, example up again so money is on our minds at the end of Taurus season, but we see that to attract it, start with physical health and competency. So yes, in order to attract money, um, it's really important to be healthy because our physical bodies are a part of our magnetism. It's part of our energy field. So like money is attracted to that, that energy and part of that energy is the belief that you can have it so yes you have to believe that you can have it to have it and then you have to take the physical action to create it so as you guys saw i got really chatty finishing up the video so um feel free to <laughs> feel free to um reflect on this i feel like it's still tons of information share more about the gate and i would love to see you guys in my next video yeah keep watching i have tons of videos coming about this stuff you know you guys have all my old human design videos and some new ones so stay tuned and if you made it to the end of course feel free to subscribe like comment and share and also check out my cmos shop